I'm Jennifer Sims, I'm Head of MFL French and Spanish here at Jebel Ali School. I've got 10 years teaching experience, two of those primarily were in the UK until I moved to the UAE in 2013, where for six years I taught GCSE and A level at the English College and then two years that I've been here at Jebel Ali. Why study um, A level languages? Um, a level languages can open up so many doors, so many more opportunities to you than GCSE um, and it's a good you know, to finish a GCSE, you've done so much, but why give up a GCSE? Why not go a little bit further? So the things you will do at A level, which are a little bit different to GCSE, you still got your four skills, listening, reading, writing, and speaking. However, they are split into three papers now, not four. So your first paper is your listening, reading, and writing paper, which will look at the modules that you've studied in year one and year two. So things you will look at, role of the woman, cyberspace, food, cultural issues, racism, immigration, integration, um, activism, different popular movements, um, and all of these will be assessed at the end of year two. Then in paper two that you will do at the end is um, to do with literature and to do with a piece of film. The piece of film will be studied in year one, followed by the piece of literature in year two. The reason this theme, the film is an easier transition for you to do from GCSE to A level and then once you've done the whole year of year 12 then to go onto a piece of literature is a more suitable solution for you. The film we would look at is Pan's Labyrinth by Guillermo del Toro which you've probably heard of, he's won many Oscars and he has quite a few shows on Netflix that you may have already seen and the piece of literature that we would look at is Un Requiem por un Campesino Español by Ramón Sender. Both these pieces are set during the civil war or post-civil war in Spain, so they're really good to look at because things you'll learn from the piece of film, then you can lend, then lend themselves to the piece of literature. The final assessment that you will do is your speaking, the one that everybody dreads. Um, what will be similar to GCSE style because you'll be given a photo card to choose from, you'll be given two, and you'll have a photo that you'll have to describe with some questions on there just like GCSE. This will be based on any of the modules studied in either year one or year two, and once that is done, there'll be follow-up questions from your teacher, followed by an IRP, which is an individual research project. So over the summer term of year one, going into year two, you will choose a piece of um, something of interest to you that you've either thought of when you've studied the module, something that's going on in Spain, something that's going on in a Spanish-speaking country that you would like to research and go into more depth that you will present to your teacher and your teacher will question you on that. Any questions you have to either do with French A-level or Spanish A-level, please do not hesitate, hesitate to contact me here at Jebel Ali.